Main man, made man here. Y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing. So we seen the Canelo and Julio Cesar Chavez press conference, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, there's a lot of chatter coming out about this press conference. This is going to be a huge fight. What are they talking? 50,000 in Texas and shit, man. You know, Canelo Alvarez showing his A-side power, why he is the face of boxing, because he does shit like this. But take your mind, ladies and gentlemen, this fight. And I'm going to be that dude. I don't give a fuck, man. Y'all commentators, uploaders, whoever the fuck, y'all can sit back and act like everything is all copacetic in the world of boxing with this fight. I'm not. This fight is fucking for the fucking birds. This fight has zero, I repeat, minus zero structure. You know, people wonder why boxing is so fucked up, man. Why we do not get the best versus the best. Because the fight fans become complacent and complicit when they hear fights like this. No one questions it. Everybody like, oh, yes. Oh, we're going to get Canelo and Chavez. Arriba. Man, get the fuck out of here, man. Yo, this fight is for the birds, bruh. This fight has been fought at a catch weight. All right, a catch weight at 164 and a half, right? Whatever the fuck that means. 164 and a half. And this is after Canelo Alvarez then dropped his belt from fighting Gennady Golovkin. And says he cannot fight at the 160 weight. Goes back down to 154, right? Doesn't touch the Charlos. You know what I mean? Doesn't even go near Andre. But he fights Liam Smith for his WBO title, in which I backed at the time because I thought that Canelo was positioning himself to move back up to 160 to face Billy Joe Saunders for his WBO belt. And that would have gave him, basically bumped him up in line by winning the WBO at 154. And that's what I thought the route he was going. And then we hear this. Clearly, Billy Joe Saunders is not ready for that Canelo fight. I do believe that it was more Billy Joe backing out than possibly Canelo. Because Billy Joe looked like shit in his last fight. And he ain't ready for Canelo nor Triple G. But the fact is, this dude go down to 54. All right. Still doesn't fight Triple G. All right. I'm going to go over the weight that I said I couldn't make. Or I'm not comfortable at fighting it. And I'm going to go over that weight. To fight Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. at a weight that it's going to be damn near impossible for him to make. This fight is fucking bullshit, ladies and gentlemen. And and Julio Cesar Chavez Jr.'s last fight, it was at a what was it? it was supposed to be 168 or something. It got changed at the last second because he couldn't even make the 68 weight. Then it got changed to like 170 or some shit like that. I don't understand this shit. Why are they choosing the weights that they want to fight at? When he tried to go up to, what was that, 71 or 72, he got his ass stopped by Fonfar. He tried to drain Fonfar, right? Fonfar came to that fight actually stronger than Chavez Jr. expected, and Chavez Jr. couldn't steamroll him like he did a lot of his previous opponents. You know what I'm saying? This fight has no title involved. No ranking system is used for this fight because neither fighter are in each other's weight class. They're fighting at an unknown, magical, made-up number weight. There's nothing. Nothing. And not to mention, I believe that Canelo Alvarez is going to beat the shit out of Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. There is no way I see a path for victory for Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. outside of just landing one big shot. And that's a big maybe for a victory for Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. You think about it. He has no advantages in this fight. I'm talking none. He's fighting at a weight he's going to kill himself to make. If he comes in a pound overweight, that's a million dollars off his purse. Right? Right? Canelo's already the more skilled boxer. Imagine fighting a weight drain skilled, uh, lesser skilled boxer. Right? Weight is not going to be a factor because Canelo is well known to be fighting in his 170s. Some even say 180s, a la Amir Khan. So if he rehydrates to these numbers, where is the big weight advantage from Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. And he cannot outbox Canelo. No fucking way in world. Canelo's gonna tag his body and beat that goddamn water off him like it was nobody's business. This fight is gonna be so... He's gonna dominate Chavez, man, in my opinion. And it's gonna be for the bag. It's all for the bag with Canelo. We all know that. And then what Canelo's gonna do, I'm gonna go back to 160 now, maybe. Maybe. 
This is a fucking bullshit fight. I don't care how big it is to you fans or how many people are going to be in the building. I don't care about none of that. For the betterment of the sport, this fight is bullshit. This is the reason they don't fight the best, don't fight the best. This is why Canelo Alvarez doesn't have to fight Charlos. This is why he doesn't have to fight the Gennady Golovkins. And he can go and cherry pick a Kodo at this point in his career. And he can do these things because guess what? Y'all down for it. No one calls out the bullshit. Nah, fuck that. You don't just skip over fighters, man. And then say, I'm going to fight a fight at an unknown fucking way. I don't give a fuck who you are. And people need to ride on that shit, man. Boxing promoters, other boxing entities, you know, people need to talk about this shit. Oh, no, but guess what? We're not going to do it because everyone's so happy. Everyone's so happy that we're going to get this fight. Everybody is just like, oh, we're getting this fight. Yes, yes. Forget the terms, man. I ain't with that shit, man. This ain't even going to be a true victory in my opinion because you're killing this dude, Chavez Jr., to make a 164 and a half pound weight. And you're a dumbass, Chavez Jr., for accepting the fight. You chasing the money. You ain't no damn better than Canelo. I ain't fucking with this fight. I'm going to watch it, but I ain't really fucking with it like that, man. That's just on my opinion. Y'all fuck with it. You know what I'm saying? Real shit, man. There is no structure in this fight whatsoever. The terms in this fight are fucked up. Canelo can basically fight anywhere, wherever, at any weight that he fucking wants to. And don't give me that old Floyd did it or anybody else did it shit. This shit is fucked up. And it's stuff like this that's killing the sport, ladies and gentlemen. That's killing the The sport. We can't get Chavez Jr. in a Final Five rematch. We can't get Chavez Jr. to step in the ring with the the Gales or or the Badu Jacks. We can't get Chavez Jr. to do that. But, oh, he will fight Canelo because of the money that's involved. Fuck everyone else that we wanted to see him fight in his own fucking weight class. You know what? I'm not going to get myself worked up. Canelo's going to beat the shit out of Chavez Jr., Period. Point blank. I see it as a as a slaughtering. I see Chavez Jr. getting his ass knocked the fuck out right there in front of his daddy. You know what I mean? And it's as simple as that. To the next video, main man, made man. Don't forget to subscribe. Twitter, made man, five one one. Facebook, main man, made man. Boxing form, Google Plus, main man, made man. You know I hate making videos like this, man, because it's like I be the only one talking about this type shit. Nobody else don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? And it's kind of put me out there, but it's all good, man. I gotta talk on how I feel, man. And from what I see, man, I'm just not liking. The no structure, no label, do what the fuck we want attitude from some fighters because that shit spreads to the younger generation. And next thing you know, boxing is really fucked up. Whatever, man. To the next video. Peace out.